Now, if you are a man and you had 596,000 Kenyan shillings, your laptop, your ATM cards, and your phone stolen from you by somebody who you felt you are going to have a very good time with the night before, what would you do? This is the story of a man who lost 600,000 to a lady who we only know as Wamboy. She's a man on a business trip. <laughs> there are so many stories about men and business trips. Uh, wives have told stories about men and business trips. Men have told stories about other men and business trips. But today's story is not that different. Our man of choice today is Kenyan. So you already know the destination is either going to be Watamu, Mombasa, or Diani. Yes, your guess is right. Our man went to Mombasa. What does our man do? Our man goes, does his business, cuts his deals, and now it's evening and it's time to play. And because he's a man with money, he wants to play at a place that looks like the money he has. So where does he go? Yes, you guessed it. He goes to the very prized possession of Shanzu, the VIP club volume. For those of you who know it, you know it's a multi-million establishment. A gentleman gets in, sits down, orders drinks. He's the only person at his table, so you can already tell he's the only one buying the drinks. Now, a man on a business trip being a man with money is a man who's looking to be entertained. And our man, our man is no different. So when one boy saunters across his table with all her beauty and elegance, our man is interested. So he asks himself, doesn't a man like me on a business, business trip like the one I'm on with the money that I have deserve to be entertained by a woman like her? The answer is yes. So admittedly, he beckons at Wamboy. And Wamboy obliges. Now we can sit here and talk about the details of whether Wamboy being coincidentally available or walking across his table was planned or it was purely coincidence, but that's, that's not the gist of the story. So there they are, seated at his table, having drink after drink after drink. Something else about men on business trips and their money is there's a, there's a form of arrogance and charm that comes with a man with money. A man who is looking for adventure spares no cost whatsoever. So our gentleman is, is the kind of man with an arrogance that can be best explained as if, for example, he broke the most expensive bottle at that club, he will pay it and still have enough to tip the bartender and buy more drinks. That's the kind of arrogance we're working with here. So they speak with each other animatedly over the hours. It's, it's now 2 a.m. and then it's 3 and then now it's 4. And one boy beckons at him and she says, I think it's time we left. To which he staggeringly agrees, you know, he's like, he's drunk. So hand in hand. They walk across the now half-empty dance floor. They stagger across the bouncers of the club. They get outside the club. It's very cold. One boy lifts her hand and beckons a cab to stop by. The cab stops. They get in. Destination. Seville Apartments. Now, Seville Apartments is a very posh establishment, just like the club our gentleman was drinking in. They get into the hotel and the details of the night, as you would expect, are very raunchy in nature. Unfortunately, our gentleman doesn't remember anything. It's in the afternoon. There's a knock on the door. He wakes up, rushes, opens the door, gets back in, starts searching around for the lady he was with last night. The room attendants ask him if everything is okay. 
Then he asks them, why wouldn't everything be okay? To which they say, well, you stayed in the room till midday. We just wanted to check if you're all right. So he realizes not only has he slept till noon, he doesn't have his laptop, he doesn't have his ATM cards, the lady he was with was missing, and he has a splitting headache. He rushes to check his bank account balances and all the money he had. 596,000. The story started with man loses 600,000, but the approximate and ex the exact figure is 596,000 Kenyan shillings. Poof. Gone. Along with a lady who is only identified as one boy. To which, by the way, we do not know whether that is the actual name the lady. I mean, if you are going to steal money from somebody, would you give them your real name? So the DCI detectives get a gist of the story. They say, of course, that investigations are being done, that the Bamburi police station is doing all it's, it can to make sure the suspect is brought to book. If I was a man who was on a business trip with the arrogance to buy a bottle, and replace it after breaking it. And then I lost 596,000. You become a very frustrated man. Now you can learn several things from this story. You can learn that hanging out with strangers could be very, very wrong. You can also learn that a man on a business trip is a man with a target on his back. Despite what you learn, when you're going out, you need to be extremely careful. People will drag you for whatever reason. You don't need to find out. Just be careful.